last class we had seen how we can create the calculator layout so in this video lecture i'll be teaching you how we can write the java code to operate the calculator so previously we had created this layout <clears throat> so in the first thing that we're going to do is extend this text view so that it covers the whole the width of the screen we'll do the same thing for control as well now what we need to ensure is that since these text views will be containing numbers when we you know uh, perform operations on them it will cause errors because we have uh, set the text as control and result so first thing that i'm going to do is um, remove the text make it blank and do the same for result as well okay so now let's head on to main activity dot java so the first thing that we need to do is assign variables for each of those widgets okay so we have a total of 16 buttons as you can see in the layout so we need to assign um, each of those uh, uh, widgets with a variable so we'll call the first button as number one or let's just call it one two and similarly just copy paste and and do the same for 16 buttons I'm just gonna scroll the video forward so that uh, it doesn't waste time so firstly we have to define all the buttons and then we have to define our uh, controls which are your four operations that we're gonna perform on the numbers so as info and the above one as result okay so multiplication is done I have division and the two text views which is your info and result okay so now that each of those uh, so now that each of these variables have been defined we need to associate each of these variables with their uh, ids in the xml layout so to do that uh, i'll write a separate function called as uh, setup ui views so let's just go ahead and create that so in this function so take the first variable type cast it with its widget and perform the find view by id so that you can associate its uh, id with the xml layout okay so in the xml layout we have defined uh, btn1 as btn1 and we also forgot to add uh, our button 0 here so let's just go ahead and add that okay so we have our button 0 so i hope you get what i'm doing because this, this is just a simple thing so this is your btn0 so similarly go ahead and create uh, the uh, associate each of those ids uh, for all the 16 buttons i'm just gonna fast forward so that doesn't waste much time and addition make sure you assign it with the right id or else you might get uh, an error when you run the code so this is btn add btn sub and, and division okay so now that we have uh, <coughs> btn divide this is btn mul okay so now that we have associated id okay we forgot our text views so info typecast it with text view view by id
and TV control and we have defined result which is equal to text view dot id dot tv result okay so now that we have de defined all the text views we need to call this function in the on create so on create is the first function that is called when the activity runs so you need to set up all the ui views so once all the ui views are set up so next thing that we're going to do is set on click listeners on each of those buttons so zero dot set on click listener you can see that when as i type uh, the android studio ide it come it auto completes and shows me the different options which are available so we have um, set on click listener so the first thing i'm just gonna enter that and then just type new again o n so as you type you can see that uh, it lists the first one on click listener just click enter and it will auto complete the entire function for you so once you have uh, your once you're inside that inside the function so once you click zero what should happen is uh, the info you need to set the text on the info screen and not the result so this is the first number which suppose this is the first number that enters then what should happen is it should print zero on the info screen but normally what happens is you also need to take care of the previous number which was entered and it, it has to be concatenated with this so suppose i already pressed one previously and i now i press zero what should happen is it should concatenate one and zero it should take it as 10 and not just erase it so for that sake inside the set text i also need to do a get text to get the previous value or number previous number and then uh, we'll concatenate it with the number zero and to concatenate it uh, we just uh, use the plus symbol as you can see it's as simple as that so this is how you, you can uh, assign the number on the text view so i hope you understood what i'm doing here so first i need to set text when i click the button zero what should happen is it should retrieve whatever was already present so if the previous number was one it gets the previous number one and concatenates it with the number zero so we have 10 printed on the info screen now we need to do the same thing for all the buttons all the number buttons especially so let's just go ahead and, and do that just you need to change two parameters one is this and the second one is inside the function okay so go ahead and do that for all the nine numbers i'm just gonna fast forward this so that uh, doesn't waste the time so So now that uh, we have assigned uh, all the all the uh, buttons with set on click listeners, so this is basically a function uh, which uh, does some task when the button is pressed. So now we need to you know perform uh, the same operation for all the um, four arithmetic operations. So for that, uh, we we'll just go ahead and create uh, four constants. So the first one's addition, subtraction, and go ahead and create the same for multiplication and division as well. Multiplication and division. Alright. So 
Just change the operators. I hope it's uh, visible. So now that we have assigned uh, all the four characters, so next uh, we need to you know go ahead and put on click listeners on the addition. So do the same thing. So what should happen is when the add button is clicked, so it should take the two numbers and then perform the arithmetic operation of addition. So the two numbers, so we forgot to define the two numbers. So let's just define the two numbers as value one and value two. So the first number is val1 will uh, give it the value of not a number double dot not a number and do the same for second one but since second number is obtained from uh, the info which you'll understand later so we will not assign it anything but we will assign this as not a number because when we perform division if uh, the previous number uh, you know is zero or anything else it could cause problems so we'll understand later why i have defined it as not a number so now that we have uh, set up all our variables and uh, created our different uh, functions so next in the next video we'll see how we can uh, perform uh, computations and uh, write the logic for each of the four arithmetic operators so please like and subscribe and if you like this video please give a big thumbs up and also if you didn't understand some concept or if you want a video on something please do comment in the comment section below and i will come up with a video soon thank you for watching please do subscribe